Hello. How's everybody doing? Welcome. Just gonna move over here. All right. Hello. My name is Bianca Stevenson. I'm a sound healer, a yoga teacher, and a meditation guide. Welcome to Cider's Self-Care January. Hi, hey, so many little hearts. Welcome, thank you for coming. So yes, today we're doing one of Cider's Self-Care January sessions. I personally believe self-care is extremely important, especially at this time of year. I don't know where everybody's at, but I'm in London, England, and it's really cold and really gray at this time. And it's really hard for me, and I think many people can relate, to feel energized um, or to kind of do anything when the body is telling us to rest. So while rest is important, I can recognize that, you know, our lifestyle doesn't really allow for too much rest. Um, so it's really important to fill our cup in different ways because um, we can't really share with an empty cup. We can't pour from an empty cup. So on today's IG live session, I'll be taking us through some very basic breathwork techniques. If you have gone to a meditation or a yoga class before, you might be really familiar with them. So it's good to have this little refresher. Um, I think that we often overlook how powerful the breath can be in making us feel better more relaxed or more energized. After all, it's our life force. In yoga philosophy, it's believed that, yeah, it is our life force. And if you think about it, we can't really go that long without breathing. <laughs> so it can be optimized again to, yeah, help us to live our lives fuller and more well. So I will be sharing a few easy breathwork techniques that you can do on your own time um, and I'll also guide them in this 30 minute session. And I'm also going to do a mini sound bath for us. For those of you who aren't familiar, sound healing is an ancient healing modality, an ancient technique in which instruments such as these ones here, I've also got some tuning forks. calming and soothing sounds tuned to special frequencies are used to kind of tune the body. <clears throat> Again, these here are tuned, these specifically are tuned to the frequency of the universe, so 432 hertz. If you think about it, we're constantly being bombarded with frequencies like like Wi-Fi, for example, emits a frequency. Like the person next to you emits a frequency. Everything emits a, fre a frequency, but it is the frequency of the universe and the earth that grounds us and helps us to heal ourselves. It's the frequency that feels most at home in our body. Um, and these instruments kind of, we're always like floating up here. These instruments kind of help us to take ourselves back down to earth back into our bodies so that our body can sort of heal itself. So if you've ever been to a sound bath, they'll play these instruments for you for like 45 minutes, an hour. Today, we're just gonna be doing little mini snippets um, to be surrounded by these sounds or to even just listen to them through a phone is quite calming. So to do so while combining breath work, I hope that you'll start your morning off feeling really calm and centered. That being said, receiving a sound bath is very different online than it is in person. You might not feel like the physical vibration in your body and the change of frequency, but you will get to hear them. I'll try not to play them too loud so the mic doesn't get over 
it doesn't get overbearing for the microphone. But the best way to receive a sound bath online, I would say, is to use some headphones. So I'll allow you to go and get the headphones now. Right. Hello. <laughs> Thank you for sending the hearts on IG Live. We've all got our headphones, let's get started. Start by finding a comfortable seat. So, I like to sit cross-legged like this, but you only want to do a cross-legged meditation seat if your knees can comfortably touch the ground. Sorry, my bowls are covering me, but my knees are touching the ground or my bed. Um, and that's because we can allow our spine to be long and straight and our chest to be open. If we don't have, you know, relaxed hips in this pose, we might slouch forward and that causes our chest to, to close. So what we want is an open chest and a long spine. So you can sit like this or on your shins this or if in your chair that's fine as well. So let's place the hands in the lap, close down the eyes, start to think about lengthening the spine from the bottom to the top of the head. Tilt the chin ever so slightly towards the chest, just so the back of the neck can be long. And just start to notice everything. Start to notice how you're breathing without trying to change it. Start to notice what types of thoughts are floating by, again, without trying to change them. Notice how you're feeling this morning. Again, without trying to judge or change anything. The practice of meditation is just to notice, to observe. When we do so, we start to become, we start to sit in the observer seat of the self. Noticing things non-judgmentally. Starting to notice what thoughts do and do not belong to us. What feelings are temporary. Now let's take a few clearing breaths here. Inhale through the nose, filling the deep belly, filling the sides of the rib cage and filling the heart, holding at the top. Open the mouth and sigh. Again, grow tall, grow long. Inhale deep into the belly through the sides of the rib cage and into the heart, hold on full, open the mouth and sigh. One more time, make it your best one yet. Inhale deeply through the nose, filling the belly, the rib cage and the heart, hold, open the mouth and sigh. Allow your breathing to return to normal. Still with the eyes closed. Still with the spine growing long. And the chest open. Notice again how you're feeling. 
Notice again how you're breathing. Notice again what types of thoughts are floating by. So this deep belly breath, this deep and full breath is one way to help us to calm down in immediately. In our day-to-day -day lives, when we're on the go, we tend to breathe only up here, you know, quick breaths. They're almost like stress or anxiety breathing, but stress and anxiety is actually useful to some extent on a day-to-day -to, -day to help us get things done. But if we don't, you know, turn off from that mode, if we don't take proper breaths, proper deep breaths, our body will always stay in this fight or flight mode. So what we want to do is activate the parasympathetic nervous system. That's the one that helps us digest food, it helps us to relax, it helps us to heal. And we can do this by breathing. Another way to feel more centered and balanced is from a breathing practice called Nadi Shodhana or alternate nostril breathing. This is often taught in yin yoga, uh, but I'm going to show you how to do it here. Essentially, as the name suggests, alternate nostril breathing, we are breathing in from one nostril breathing in from the other nostril and alternating. And essentially what this does is it helps us to balance the left and right energies of the body, the left and right energies of the brain. So in yin and yang, yin and yang yoga, uh, there are two energies that are required for a being to function. For us, the left nostril is connected to the right hemisphere of the brain, which is the yin energy or the moon energy. This is the energy that is healing, relaxing, and it's also linked to your creativity, the arts, dance, this type of essence. The right nostril is connected to the left side of the brain, which is connected to your thinking, your activity, um, and your logic. So, of course, both of these energies are needed to move through life. Left and right brains, left and right nostrils. So, with Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing, we're going to kind of balance these two energies. In yoga philosophy, it's believed that every day we kind of wake up with one side a little bit more dominant than the other. So, go ahead and kind of check block one side with your hand, block the other, and kind of notice which nostril is clearer. For me, I'm instantly noticing that it's my left side that is clearer, which means that today I might be leading with healing, relaxing energy. I might be leading with my creativity. Tomorrow might be different. But with this breathwork practice, we'll learn to kind of balance the sides so that we can move through life in a more centered way. So to start with Nadi Shodhana, we're going to take our right hand, hover our thumb over our left nostril, place our two fingers, our index and middle finger on the forehead or on the third eye, and then we'll place our ring finger and pinky or just the ring finger, hovering over the left nostril. So what you're gonna do is essentially push the thumb into the right nostril to close it, keeping the left side open. We're gonna take an inhale here, breathing into just the left nostril. We're gonna switch sides, so push the ring finger down, release the right nostril, exhale through the right nostril. Stay this way with the hands, inhale through the right nostril. Swap the hands, 
exhale through the left nostril. So this is alternate nostril breathing, repeat. Inhale through the left nostril. Switch the hands, exhale through the right nostril. Keep the hands the same, inhale through the right nostril. Switch the hands, exhale through the left nostril. Again, inhale through the left nostril. Switch the hands, exhale through the right nostril. Inhale through the right nostril. Exhale through the left nostril. Continue like this at your own pace with the hands for a few more breaths. As you finish your last cycle of Nadi Shodana, finish with an exhale on the left nostril and release the hands. Nadi Shodana can be practiced every morning. Whenever you feel a little bit imbalanced, notice how you feel now. Perhaps check now which side is more clear or whether there is more of a balance between the two sides between the two energies. Nadi Shodana can also be practiced without the hand. Just sort of imagine the breath going up one nostril and exhaling through the other. Inhaling and exhaling on alternate sides. With this hands-free version of Nadi Shodana, we can really practice it anywhere. It is an easy breathing technique and meditation technique that we can use to kind of trap the mind into thinking about the breath, into staying in the body, whilst also balancing the energies. For the last 10 minutes of our little live session, practice this hands-free version of alternate nostril breathing while you listen to the sounds and the frequencies of my singing
to get lost in thought during this time. Don't fret. Again, the purpose of the meditation is just to observe this, gently taking yourself back to the breath.
check in with yourself one final time. Notice the breath. Notice how you feel. Notice what types of thoughts are coming in. Practice this observation of the self, this non-judgmental, radical awareness of the self. In your day to day life, take this practice, Nadi Shodana, use it as a tool. balance the energies and keep you in your body observing the breath Thank you so much for joining me on Cider's Self-Care January. Thank you for the love. I hope that you'll meditate and breathe throughout this season. My name again is Bianca Rose Stevenson. That's also my Instagram handle. Have a lovely day. Mwah! <laughs>